Hello, my name's Miles, and this is Steam Graveyard, the gaming service where I unearth the lost games of the Steam store. Today's game is minimalized. It is, well, it's a very minimalistic game. Um, yeah, before I, I jump in, um, I want to say that, yeah, I'm continuing on with this whole uh, camera in front of my face sort of thing. And yeah, I'll just see how it goes. Um, still have the same issues about my camera cutting out every 17 minutes, so that's a lot of fun. But uh, it's going okay. A um, little bit more work to edit, but uh, you know, hopefully whenever I get a, a good proper camera and I can record all in one go, you know, uh, it'll it'll save me a lot more time. And um, like I said in my previous video, it'll it'll up the production value. I, I feel. Um, also, I'm still sort of feeling out ideas of where to take Steam Graveyard, if to change it, uh, what to change it to, maybe change the name, the, the look of it, the, the feel of it, the, um, the, the structure of it. Um, yeah, I'd like to kind of introduce a, a few more things to it. Uh, there's also another gaming series that I'd like to start up, and I had originally wanted to do it parallel with Steam Graveyard, but I, I just don't have the time, really. Um, so that's something that I, I'd like to do as well. Uh, there's, there's, there's actually two other shows that I'd like to do in parallel with Steam Graveyard, but really, just uh, time is uh, something I don't have a lot of these days. But uh, you know, I do what I can, and I would love to finally get to them. Uh, one's uh, you know sort of more retro games, and the other is something completely different that. Guarantee no one else on the internet is doing, or even on TV. Uh, it's totally original, and it's 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 something very very special. Uh, but but that's that's a long way off. But uh, in the meantime, yeah, uh, maybe maybe I might start a retro gaming series. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll do something with Steam Graveyard, change it up in some regard. But we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, uh, what else did I want to say? Oh, yeah, yeah, um, if, uh, I know that I have started changing up my format, and even within the last few months, you know, I've, I've been changing things up, and I added the intro to the channel, uh, well, to this series, you know, the, the Steam Graveyard, da -da 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 -da, you know, awesome rock and roll music, that's pretty badass. And uh, lots of colors and everything, because uh, I'm, I'm sort of getting my aesthetic going. And anybody who's checked out the the chat, my channel art, yeah, it seems to be multicolored, just like just a prism of colors, and I like that. Um, so, yeah, that's that's sort of the way things are kind of going. I'm I'm sort of finding my my artistic uh, personality, I guess you might call it. But anyway, um. So everything's nice and colorful. I like it. But yeah, and then I I, uh, I put a little bell at the very end of the videos. I don't know if anybody noticed that. But uh, overall, I, I wanted to ask, what do you think? Uh, what do you think of the changes that I made uh, about the intro title or um, specifically about the new format of me being in front of a camera? Uh, do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, also, Steam Graveyard in general. Um, do you like the gaming series? Do you think there's something missing from it? Do you think it's boring? Do you think it's too exciting? <laughs> I, I don't think you'll think it's too exciting. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I'd love to hear comments and thoughts about it uh, to really get an idea of, you know, directions that I can take it and directions that I can take the rest of my content as well. Um, because, you know, feedback's great, and I know I don't have that many people who watch, but every single person who does, I am grateful for, and I'd love to hear some comments. Um, so, yeah, let me know about what you like, what you don't like, what you'd like to see more of, what you'd like to see less of. <laughs> um, yeah, things like that. So, any ideas? You know, be brutally honest. That's, that's great for me. You know, I need uh, some critiquing going on. Uh, to really sort of help me um, evolve, you know, the, the entire process. So, yeah. And if you like the show the way it is, let me know as well. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I do hope that whenever I do change things up, and, you know, I mean, this is a change in itself, you know, me talking way in the front of the camera, 
but I hope these changes are liked. And for those uh, long term viewers, you know, um, again, I don't have many of them, but I have a lot of respect for everybody who does tune in. So for those people, I hope this isn't alienating you to my content. I hope it's uplifting it and maybe putting a little bit more energy and zest into it. And uh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I, I want to put uh, more personality in my channel and, and into all of the work that I do. Because I think it was getting a little a little bogged down, a little bit too monotone. So hopefully this will start raising things up. And I, I really want to raise my game, you know, on YouTube and start things kind of really taking off for me here. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get to the game. And I, this is the point where I have to get up to... Um, Turn off the recording and then turn it back on because every 17 minutes it cuts off. So, yeah. So, uh, quick chop cut. Okay, and I'm back. I really hope that it's not too jarring. Um, I know it probably is a little, you know, having the camera cut off and on. Again, my editing should hopefully take care of that. Uh, it shouldn't really look like it is cutting, uh, turning on and off, but. Um, yeah, it, it, it's it's very noticeable to me since I have to keep getting up to do it. But, uh, yeah, I, it, that'll be fixed in time, and, uh, yeah, hopefully it's not too jarring. Anyway, let's check this game out. It is called Minimalized, and I've been looking forward to playing this for quite a while now. I'm a big fan of, uh, you know, the movie Tron, and um, I like minimalistic graphics at times, you know, and uh, certainly with a name called Minimalized, you would assume that that's the case with this. So let us start and check it out. So we've got a nice little intro here, introduction. My name, Vandal. More precisely, it's my nickname. Present, my name no one knows. I'm a professional hacker. Hacker whom everyone called White Hat. Well, you have White Hat hackers. You don't really call them White Hat. Anyway. Wait, but his nickname is Vandal. Uh, let's not get too bogged down here. My goal was to find holes, probably in the plot. Let's keep going. In the different systems and their elimination. But once I was able to break the system, not a conventional system, but a reality. As if someone, as if some programmer wrote our world and I found a bug in it. And no one would have thought that my life suddenly changed. And I'm stuck in an unknown world to me. Okay, so, you know, English is uh, probably not the first language of the developing team. But I get the gist. The gist is, this is Tron, and I've been sucked into a video game. So, that's fine. Everybody loves Tron. I mean, those people who actually know what Tron is. Well, no, I, I suppose that's not true, since Disney did the whole Tron thing. Um, but that was kind of a big deal. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, pretty cool looking graphics, and uh, I've already picked up two weapons, so I've got the uh, starting pistol, so there is ammo to that, and uh, the HUD's nice, very simple. Um, of course, this game is supposed to kind of be a mirror of uh, Wolfenstein, those kind of early games. Um, oh, what was the other one? Uh, Blake? The Adventures of Blake, I think it is. The the sci-fi kind of Wolfenstein game that there was. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, my second weapon is this sort of glove. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, it's like a laser glove thing. And, uh, right. Fair enough. So, very simple controls. Uh, as you can see, it's a first-person shooter. It's very basic. Um, I don't know what these energy cubes do, or what that is either. Uh, I did have a look at the help screen, which is kind of basically the instructions manual type thing. Didn't really say much. Just uh, find the keys and shoot things, and that's really about it. Now, I have played uh, another game that was similar to Wolfenstein for this uh, gaming series. Oh, it's got some ammo. Oh, that's interesting looking. And yeah, that really does bring me back to the old DOS games. 
Yeah, I played another game that was uh, similar to a Wolfenstein game. Oh, enemies! A little hard to figure that out at first. Health. Oh, I have no idea what that game was called. Honestly, oh, Skyfall, that's what it was. I think it was literally cashing in on the movie Skyfall. Ooh, big guy. Oh, he gone or dead? He's dead. Um, okay, can I blow up these things? Yep. Don't really seem to do anything, though. Oh, another big bad guy. Can I blow up the barrel? Yep. Oh, where'd he come from? So, very much like uh, Wolfenstein and uh, Doom, you know, you've got those exploding barrels that can help you. What, what was that? Hmm. Huh. Definitely a little hard to seam around corners and things like that. There we go. That. Okay. It's a Steam logo. Can I interact with it? No. Well, this is Steam Graveyard. The gaming series where I check out games that people didn't play. They didn't pick it up. And, you know, every once in a while you find a game that it's a real shame that nobody, you know, checked it out. And judging from the screenshots and the few reviews that are on this game, uh, it seems like this is one of those games that actually really does deserve some attention. Oh, there's bound to be something in here. Alright, key. I thought there would be some enemies. Hmm. Oh, level one. Done. Fair enough. <laughs> a little abrupt, but fair enough. Oh, oh yeah, so I got the yellow key, I guess, for the... That was for the final door, I guess. Okay. Press the key to enter the next level. Game guide. To successfully complete the game and get out of this world, you will need to collect 500,000 units of energy. To gain the energy, you need to destroy enemies and collect energy spheres. At each level, you one hidden pla platinum sphere, which at once gives uh, a multiplier of 20 energy. Okay. Hmm. I don't really like the idea of having to collect all of these energy cubes. Or, well, they said spheres, but they're more like cubes. I mean, it's hardly a circle. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, I'm, does that hurt me? No. And I've got max health, so I can't pick up any of those. Being a little cautious going down these corridors, because they're... Because the the way uh, the game looks, it's uh, quite difficult to, to really see around those corners. Oh yeah, uh, the graphics are nice though. I mean, uh, they're made the way they're supposed to be. You know, the way the game is advertised is a very uh, low tech kind of game. And uh, yeah, I think it's nice. I have noticed the music's really good too. Like this nice little chip tune. Um, the uh, weapons as well. I really like that animation. Badass. It reminds me of the uh, Nintendo Power Glove. Oh. And of course, the pistol's got that nice pew pew sound to it, which is great, you know, for a uh, starting pistol, a uh, starting gun. I know I picked up that other one. Let's see. I'm curious how much damage this glove will do. Hmm. Not bad, but yeah, you do take quite a few hits while trying to get close. A little hard to navigate. That was always the, the case with the, you know, those old type of games. There was no mapping back then, and it's not like, uh, you know, something like Eye of the Beholder or, you know, one of those dungeon crawlers where it's a slow-paced game and you can actually take your time to draw your own map. Whoa.
that it? Yeah. Yeah, so you have to... Whoa, that, that's really freaky, actually. That uh, draw distance. See, normally with these type of games, there's not a very far draw distance, but whenever there is, it just sort of looks like it goes on for infinity. So, yeah, uh, like I was saying, um, yeah, no maps. And it's an action game, so, so you know, it's not like you can just sit down and draw the maps out as you play. Headphones are giving me a little bother. You know, I'd love to just get a whole new setup. Just oh, new enemy. Oh, that guy's pretty tough. Oh, this is actually quite tough. I'm gonna be dodging his attacks though. They doing one point of damage as well. Huh. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Oh. And again, uh, yeah, it, it feels very abrupt whenever you go through those doors um, to finish the level, you know, because, well, I, I mean, like, you, you pick up the key, but it's not, I don't know, it's, it's not very obvious that those are the exits and you've got what you need to finish the level. So, uh, it seems like there's new music every level so far as well. I have no idea how long this game lasts. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it's fine so far. I'm really just running around for random sections, though. I suppose if you're playing this game, you know, like, I I'm doing this order impressions video to see what it's like. But if you were actually playing it, I could see having to pick up every single little uh, bit of energy being pretty annoying. That was one of the- whoa! <laughs> Did not see that one. Yeah, that was one of the things that I actually really hated about the original Sonic the Hedgehog game. Was that you had to pick up- you know, like you could beat the game easy enough, you know, if you- if you're really stuck at it. But then there was that, uh, you needed to pick up all the Chaos Gems. Ow! That hurt. Which meant that uh, you had to pick up the gems, and, and those gems, as far as I remember, they were only available during the... Uh, what was it? Uh, you know, like the minigame part. And I hated the minigame in the original Sonic. That spinning... headache-inducing thing, which would finish with this blinding light. And even as a child, I had to shield my eyes from that because it was giving me terrible headaches and, and just way, way too bright. I didn't know what Sonic was thinking doing that. Been in that stupid ass maze. But yeah, so you would have to collect the, the, the Chaos Gems from that. That was a, that was a nightmare to do. Oh, come on. Uh, so I've got the key for this level. But I don't know... Where did go? Again, a little difficult when you don't have a map. And the corners are so sharp that it's easy to miss them. Did I just pick up another key? Huh, I don't know. Oh, I'm so lost now. Um. Oh, here we go. I should probably switch to my... Oh, I don't have ammo for it? Uh, do I have to have the weapon equipped to pick up the ammo for it? Huh, I'll have to try that out later. Next time I see some ammo, I'll try that. It's a little... Oh, oh, oh not, not that, not that. Well, I mean, he does so little damage that I might as well just kind of tank it out. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm liking the minimalistic graphics. I do find them a little odd. You know, they're kind of not really giving me a headache, but it's certainly doing something to my head. A little confusing. Okay, so that's the end of the level, right?
Oh, another level done, and uh, yeah, I'm liking the monochromatic look of it. You know, there's a little bit of extra color thrown in there every once in a while, but for the most part, it's uh, pretty basic. But uh, yeah, it, it functions well. I don't know how long you could play this game, though, in one go. I could see you kind of going blind <laughs> eventually. Oh, we've got uh, turrets now. Oh, and the music's really picked up. We've gone from Wolfenstein music to more like Doom. Well, a sort of awesome techno Doom. Okay, so that's the end of the level exit. We've got ourselves a new gun. I'm assuming this is probably going to be some sort of machine gun. I'm going to adjust my mic. Oh, and adjust my table because everything's falling apart. Uh, I need to get some new equipment. Yep, machine gun. Ooh, uh, change up the weapon to... Where's that rifle? Oh yeah, uh, let's see. Oh, so it does! Let's see. If I have my laser fist equipped... Oh, I can't pick it up. Huh, that's, that's odd. So you have to have your weapon equipped to be able to pick up ammo for it. So the ammo is all, you know, just for this energy, generic energy, and it's just automatically slotted into the gun. That's an odd, odd thing. Kind of, uh, I don't like that because it's, you know, like weapons are supposed to be made so that there's a variety, uh, I mean, the variety of weapons is there so that you have um, different tactical options. That's the entire point of having multiple weapons in a video game. There's no point in just having, uh, you know, like 10 different guns, but one's better. One's got a faster rate of fire and it just does more damage. Then it renders everything else obsolete. Now. With this game, you know, like, you do have different weapons with different fires, but, I mean, certainly that pistol has been uh, made obsolete. And, you know, if you really want to conserve your ammo, then it's just best to go with a rifle instead of that machine gun. So, why would you pick up ammo for that one? 71 health. Hmm. These are all locked up, so let's see, can I blow this up? No. Nope. I thought maybe if I shot the barrel and, you know, something behind it would blow up as well, but doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, I might smash, smash these things up. Oh, uh, okay, I guess not then. Actually, that pistol's got a pretty high rate of fire as well, I didn't notice that. Hmm. Oh, is something... Oh, no, never mind. Oh, I need that health. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the, uh, the corners are so sharp that I'm actually finding myself, like, moving left or right. To kind of get a little bit of an edge. Always the, the sign of a good game, you know, if you're getting into it and you start, uh, moving your head about. I mean, uh, it's not not incredible or anything, but it's one of these games that, you know, there is an, a niche market for it, and there are certainly people out there who do enjoy them, you know, do enjoy going back to those simpler times whenever uh, first-person shooters weren't, you know, all just sort of tactical, you know, military-based ones, although, like, that has changed, I suppose, recently, you know, with uh, things like Overwatch and... Um, I want to say Lawbreakers, but I don't think anybody even knows what Lawbreakers is. That game was a complete flop. I think it lasted three months. And then it was uh, turned off. But, uh... Ah, oh, there's, there's plenty of, you know, uh, modern-day first-person shooters that... That aren't... Uh, you know, just straight up. There's to toilets? Gotta have toilets in a first person shooter game. <laughs> there was toilets in Skyfall as well. 
one of the only things that that game had. Wasn't many art assets in that game. Uh, oh yeah, I'm looking for the key because the exit was at the very beginning of the, this level, wasn't it? Yeah, music's pretty good. Oh, oh, uh, oh no, uh, I don't need that health. Is there another toilet? Looking for the toilets. I guess there was just the one side. Oh, I, I think I've went through these doors already. I think there's anything else here. But yeah, you know, uh, people like, you know, uh, retreading, you know, the old style of video games every once in a while. Whoa, there's the key. Okay, so I've got to backtrack now. All the way to the start. That's odd the way some of these sectors... Like, those laser fences really do seem like they just completely lock off sections of the map. They're just for show, really. Oh, jeez. Uh, I think it was this way? Yeah. I'm... quickly running out of ammo as well. And yeah, that's closed. There we go. So, another level done. Yeah. It's good. It's good. I mean, it's competently put together. Uh, nice sound effects and everything, and uh, good music. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. It's, it's just okay, I suppose. Um, I'll play it a little bit more, sure. But, uh, really, it's, uh, I don't know. You know, like, sometimes in this gaming series, I really do come across games that are very, very self-explanatory. I think it's still good to check them out, you know, and have a play. I enjoy doing it, and uh, I like being able to showcase them as well. Ah, so we do actually have a maximum amount of ammo that we can pick up for each gun. That gives a bit of a reason to maybe uh, take something else. Oh, come on. Where's the gun? Oh, come on. Die. Is this a boss? I think this is a boss. <laughs> Uh... Okay. I'm fighting for my life now. Against this big... Um, technological nightmare. Of circuits and... Stuff. I think this would be a much better fight if there was some indication, first of all, that you were fighting a boss, and secondly, if the arena was bigger. Because it's a bit silly getting thrown into uh, something like that. You know, if, if you're going to have a big strafing fight, then you need space to strafe. You don't want to just be stuck in there. And another wee cheeky turret to just kind of throw you off. And there you go. Well, there you go, uh, level 5 done. Let me just see real quick if there is any sort of graphical change to the level. Since, you know, y you get to finish the boss off and then you, you kind of go to a new section usually in a game. So, not too much more. Not, not that much of a difference. More energy spheres. Spheres. They're just cubes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. You know what? I want to see what the death screen is. I, I think I've kind of showed off uh, what this game has anyway. Okay, well. Pretty simple. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. That was uh, minimized. Um. Yep, as the title says, very minimalistic game. Definitely has that uh, Wolfenstein kind of feel to it. Um, unlike the other game that I, I showcased, uh, Skyfall, uh, this one is more fast-paced. 
I think it's got a better feel to it. Um, I was starting to get a bit of a rhythm going, you know, and that's very important in action games, you know, uh, games like this. But, uh, it definitely has that old school feel. Um, I would like a map though. I've went back and I played Wolfenstein, uh, Wolfenstein 3D, you know, uh, a few years back there and fantastic game. Actually really holds up apart from the map system because there is no maps. So that that's something that um, it's a big barrier, I think, especially for new players to come into a game where everything looks like this. I mean, that's already a big barrier. But then to not have some concessions made for newer gamers for just modern day playing of games, it's a, maybe a little bit too much. Um, also, I think the presentation uh, maybe put a little bit more effort into the intro. Maybe a nice little uh, pixel art um, animation, you know, cutscene kind of thing to just sort of make you feel like you're entering this uh, digital universe, you know. Uh, just something to, to kind of up the the the, uh, the the feel of the game, you know, and the, and the quality of it. But um, apart from that, I mean, it does what it does. I wanted to check out this game partly because it has a sequel. And the sequel looks a lot better. So I think I'll, I'll, I'll uh, pick that one up as well and see if that's any better. Uh, so that'll be uh, that'll be a new episode coming up. Um, maybe I'll uh, do it for the next Steam Graveyard. I don't know, but uh, the, the the sequel looks looks a little bit more interesting, um, and it certainly seems like this was a starting point for the developing team. But the sequel looks like it's a step up in terms of everything. So there you go, there's another Steam Graveyard for you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I've had uh, a bit of fun with this one. It's a little a little mundane, but uh, it's okay. Um, I'm not gonna recommend it. Um, I'm gonna check out the sequel and uh, I hope that, you know, I can recommend that one, you know, if it turns out very good, if they've put more time and uh, sort of bumped it up a bit more from this one, then uh, I think that would be uh, pretty cool. But uh, yeah, uh, like I said at the very beginning of the episode, uh, if you do have any comments um, about the show, about the presentation, if you do have any ideas of what you'd like to see, any changes that I have made already, any changes that you'd like to see in the future, anything like that, you know, please let me know. Um, yeah, be, uh, be honest and uh, tell me what you think of it all. And uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, thanks again for joining me on another Steam Graveyard, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.